Hello viewers, this video is the second part of antibiotic residue analysis which represents the details about the instrumental analysis using HPLC. Welcome to Microchem's experiments. The whole procedure involves six steps like as mobile phase, standard and instrument preparation, antibiotic residue analysis, chromatogram analysis and calculation. We need a balance machine, computerized HPLC system, membrane filtration unit, sonicator bath, pH meter, HPLC grade acetonitrile and methanol, potassium dihydrogen orthophosphate anhydrous, orthophosphoric acid, antibiotic reference standard and deionized water. Let's prepare the mobile phase. At first, we are going to prepare mobile phase A. Take about 300 ml deionized water into a 500 ml volumetric flask. Take weight of 1.7 grams potassium dihydrogen orthophosphate anhydrous crystal. Transfer the potassium dihydrogen orthophosphate into the flask. Add enough water to make the final volume of 500 ml. Shake the flask to dissolve the chemical completely. Adjust the pH of mobile phase A at 3 by adding orthophosphoric acid. Filter the solution using membrane filter of pore size 0.2 micrometer. Now sonicate and degas the prepared solution for 10 minutes using ultrasonicator bath. Mobile phase is now ready. Keep the mobile phase A in the B channel of the HPLC system. Now we will prepare mobile phase B. Take about 300 ml HPLC grade acetonitrile into a bottle. Now filter and sonicate as done previously for mobile phase air preparation. Keep the mobile phase B in the A channel of the HPLC system. Now we will prepare standards. Dissolve 10 mg antibiotic standard in HPLC grade methanol to make 100 ppm antibiotic solution. Let's go for the instrument preparation. Instrumental conditions are shown in the display. So let's set the HPLC system accordingly. This is the HPLC machine connected with the computer. 
This is auto sampler for the injection of sample. This is the column compartment and the C18 column is connected with it. This is the UV VIS detector chamber and this is the data acquisition software. Chromatographic conditions are shown in the display. We must ensure these conditions before the antibiotic residue analysis. Gradient illusion program of mobile phase for antibiotic analysis is shown in the display. Let's make the instrument ready. Turn on the HPLC instrument and open the data acquisition software in the computer. Connect pump module, auto sampler, column oven and detector chamber. Set the mobile phase A flow at 90% and the mobile phase B flow at 10%. Set the flow rate at 1 ml per minute. Purge the flow if needed. Wash prime syringe. Wash buffer loop. Wash needle externally. Turn the UV lamp on. Set the wavelength at 260 nanometer. Set the column oven temperature at 35 degrees Celsius. Now we are ready for the antibiotic analysis. By following this video, you will be able to analyze all the tetracycline group of antibiotics and quinolone group of antibiotics. But in this video, we will analyze the tetracycline residue. Go to data option. Create a sequence. Save the sequence by the test name. Rename the first test name as standard 100 ppm. Rename the second and third test name as sample 1 and 2. Set the vial position in the auto sampler if needed. Set the injection volume at 15 microliter. Now we have to create an instrument method for this analysis. Set the runtime at 20 minutes. Write the name of the mobile face at A and B channel. Remove the equilibrium stage. Now set the flow rate and the flow gradient during the runtime.
Set the column oven temperature at 35 degrees Celsius. Set the wavelength at 260 nanometer. The instrument method is created successfully. Review the instrument method if you want. Click on save icon and save the instrument method by the test name. Now select the newly created instrument method in the sequence. Now create a processing method. Select the newly created processing method in the sequence. Now select the instrument method and processing method for all the tests in the sequence. Delete the third test if you have only one sample to analyze. Keep the status idle. Save the sequence. Add the sequence to queue. Go to the queue and click on Ready Check. If the ready check result shows successful, then click on Start to start the instrumental analysis of tetracycline antibiotic residue. You can see first test status is running. Auto sampler is taking 15 microliter of tetracycline standard from the selected position RA1. Go to the UV section to watch the online plot. Here we can watch the detector response in live. This is the highest and largest peak at our target time of 7.2 minutes. First test is done. Now the second test is running. Auto sampler is taking 15 microliter of prepared sample from the selected position RA2. Go to the UV section to watch the online plot of our sample. We are looking for the detector response at 7.2 retention time. No major peak is shown here. So we have to search the antibiotic peak in the chromatogram. Both tests are finished. Now we will analyze the chromatogram of tetracycline analysis. Open the chromatogram of tetracycline standard. You can see the peak of tetracycline 100 ppm standard at 7.2 retention time. Note the peak area of the standard. You can see a small peak in the sample at the same retention time 7.2. So this peak should be considered as tetracycline because the retention time is the same as standard. Note the peak area of tetracycline in the sample.
Let's calculate the tetracycline concentration in our tested sample. Sample weight W is 2 grams. Final volume of sample solution is 8 ml. Tetracycline standard concentration C1 is 100 ppm. Area of 100 ppm tetracycline standard A1 is 47420. Area of tetracycline in the sample A2 is 244.8. Let's find the dilution factor by using the first equation. Now we will find the tetracycline concentration using the second equation. By solving the equation, we get the tetracycline concentration in our sample is 2.06 ppm.